precious little monkey. All right, guys, we're back. He's, he's already trying to put on a little show by laying down over there. I don't know why my lighting is so weird. It seems like I'm missing something. Yeah. It seems like it was brighter before something. Oh, I don't know. put this under here. That does help a little bit. Okay, so what I want to start out with, I think it's important to say it like this. He's sending me the friend request. He's the one initiating contact, and it's not going to be by the jumping up. He's going to lay down in a second and watch. And it, that's, you know, if you said, well, it's like they want to jump up and all these things, you're better off to <clears throat> give them. Oh, in their little man. An alternative behavior than say, don't jump, don't jump, don't jump. Mm. They don't understand that. Jumping and joy are the same thing in dogs. So if you have a dog jumping for joy to see you, it's because you reinforce that and to now say, don't jump, don't be happy. If I saying don't jump, it's the same, don't be happy. That's true. It's true. You like your kids jump around, but get a go to test it. <laughs> Calm down, kids. Do not get excited. Do not show happiness. <laughs> if you said, well, that's called being Protestant. <laughs> oh, you So I'm very delicate about the treat. I don't hang around trying to say I'm doing that, you know, so I can cop a feel. That's what people do. I'm going to cop a feel. So I've got that. So I've got a few different things going on, if you're there, Elaine. Um, oh, hi, Mike. I, I just somehow, I've got these two phones now, and you realize I'm clutching these things all the time. And then somehow I get up this morning, and it just starts playing. And somehow this Larry Crone, I never use the vibrate. I don't use it because of a, this bunch of nonsensical crap doesn't make any sense because if it hasn't been conditioned with the vibe I was, I was like huh even in theory what he's talking about doesn't make any sense he, the guy was, if the guy had a recall that'd be one thing he doesn't even have a recall he cannot demonstrate an off leash recall he can't literally cannot do it <laughs> So I'm making sure I've got the behavior of move to me. There's this idiot on YouTube, another one of these pit bull trainers, start with stay, start with stay. Because if the dog gets across the street, you can yell, it'll freeze. Oh my God, this is the biggest nightmare ever. You don't know how to do a remote sit though. Okay, so remember I haven't putting his feet up there. Oh. That's a different behavior. <laughs> I mean, he just should just be called a floppy puppet. I can have to lay down just by his hand. interesting than something else. You have to move. And you've got to have these micro expressions. I understand that's what it is, Mike. You can fake seeming micro expressions to a dog. You can. 
You can. <laughs> you said, what about to people? I'm sure you can do it to people, too. If you ask any sociopath, any narcissistic sociopath, you, you'd have to be good at it, but if your immediate coming at an animal's grotesque gestures, <clears throat> nah, you're, you're, you're out of the loop. You're out of the loop. If you want to, you're going to have to speak the mother tongue. And it's very, very important. I, I don't honestly, Mike, I don't even know how I know this stuff. I get up sometimes and say, how do I know this stuff? I don't know how I know it, but I know it. But, uh, you know, being dogs... I think have a conscious sense of awareness of where the other dog is without looking all the time and saying, are you there? Are you there? They know they're there. If you said in a, it's like shoe bottom. She won't get up on the bed unless they're, when Briggy was there and Crash was there. Oh, if they were taking up, if there was no place for her to jump, her big giant ass to jump, then she'd stay there and bark. It would be too dark if you said, why wouldn't she just take the risk and jump? One, she's not like that. Two, she understands there's repercussions for jumping on top of them, like them getting mad. So she doesn't do it. You know, every, for everybody to believe all these dogs have loving relationships with each other. That hasn't been my experience. I've seen more cases where housemates hate each other than I did really were you know, and if you said it's more so in some breeds than others, I think so. I think labs do good in pairs. I really do. If you said, what about shepherds? You've got to be careful. Look at Mac and Luna. Um, but Elliot not. Well, Elliot beats up Andre all the time, too, though, so that doesn't really. Labs do do good in pairs. Some, some breeds do do good in pairs. If you said, well, if they're less adversarial with each other all the time, you know, if they're not as compelled to, you know, constantly, <laughs> you little mister, oh, little perfect. Anyway, I'm recording some of this on film, so I've got some on film. yesterday, Mike. Go ahead. I'm doing doubles everything. I'm Go ahead. I'm doing doubles all the way. Make sure that's not adding glare. Yeah. Doing doubles, triples, all of it. But he's definitely triggered by the noise. What did you? What do I say to myself after that? I say, remember, it did that yesterday too. So, if you said, what? What would your sudden game plan be? What your sudden game plan should be is go back to your platform. Forget about that and say, okay, I'm back to my platform. See what I mean? Now we're just doing something else. Now we're... Oh, oh, here, listen, Mike. We're layering the behaviors. <laughs> You've got to be driving the dog somewhere. I understand that. You've either got to be driving it to a handler. You've got to be driving it to a platform. You've got to be doing something or it's going to drive itself somewhere. It's, it's, I, want, I try to explain it to people like this. If, if there was a little rustling and then an acorn fell out of a tree every time, a little rustling, acorn fell out of a tree. You loved acorns. You'd learn to hear this rustling. You wouldn't say, this tree is telling me to obey. <laughs> so that's the context I'm operating under. I'm not saying, get over there, puppy. This is always going to precede that. Oh, you little... So do you see what I did if you're there? I know, I know you know. My, I honestly think my...
Mike knows how to train better than me now. He sees all my weaknesses now. I've created a monster. I've showed him everything to do wrong. Now when I do it, he spots it immediately. But <clears throat> if I would have let it keep taking the watch back in the corner, if you said, Is it? yes, that's normal behavior. That's the bush that they take the keys under. <laughs> and then said, how do I fix this? <clears throat> Just, if you said that was a, yes, that was a fast gloss. A little paint it. Okay, so then I can leave again. Yeah, but again, I'm just something that's in the environment. I'm the acorn tree that's rustling every time before an acorn falls. Yes, this is the last one. I just keep stalling to keep from letting it go home so I can keep doing these videos. Oh, I hope you got your purse, sissy. If you said, what was it? That cat thing, it was called a work tote. <laughs> if you said it was just a purse. I know it was a purse, but it was a work tote. Okay, look, he's back in his little bed, beating up his brother. That's the brother right there. That's, that's the pseudo brother now that he's alone. Okay, so if you said, now what do you have? I leave, and I think you want to do this. If you said, well, this is a laboratory, and I'm, uh, you know, a behavioral scientist, that's how you have to think of it if you want to be successful. Not, I love puppies. Puppies love me. All puppies love me. My old puppy loved me. Oh, my God. If you said, what do I say? I say, kill now. Kill now. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just going to leave. Let me get these two in real quick. Oh, you two monsters. If you, they're doing laps around the house. Oh, they're going there. That's what we, I want you to write this down, Mike. Oh, hi, Gail. 
think our job is to provide non-stop opportunities to make choices, to make successful choices. If you're just, it just, it's, it's frustrating and to listen to this guy this morning going on and on. Don't, don't use the pager. I absolutely hate it. And you're not going to be able to use it for a recall. Blah, 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 blah. If you the, the guy can't even do a recall. He stands in his driveway with a long line. That's what makes me so mad. And then to sit there and tell people, shut down any exploration of the pager. This world expert absolutely hates it and wants it removed from the e-collar. Yeah. <laughs> removed. Get rid of it. Under the auspices of cruelty. Unbelievable. If you said that's a direct, yes, that's directed at me. Who else uses the pager? And apparently the guy's just inundated with questions about it. <laughs> so to me, that sounds like somebody that's stopping, going out of their way to safeguard their own ridiculous method that doesn't work. The guy cannot do a recall. If you said, shut up, Kelly. I'll go right. You, you're, about, you're about to be embarrassed when you see. Go ahead. Go look. There's nothing there. There's not even a dog running anywhere on this guy's videos. Nowhere. So I just took the little behavior of move in my direction and added the platform. If you said what well, was already getting on the platform, so get over yourself. I know it was, but I want you to understand it, what it sees is a handler moving that way, not a handler telling it to do anything. All right, watch. <laughs> so I'm making it a point to go, you know, and if you said, well, I'm trapped inside for the winter. I have a limited area. Yes, you can still do stuff. You can still <laughs> You said you went the wrong way. <laughs> I see that. <laughs> You said he's done with it. See, as soon as I went away. You're, you're saying how many things can I say? It is like a baby. Okay, so if you said, what do you do if you're there, Christine, if they start chewing on you? First, I'm not having any reaction. I'm not saying don't do it. He said, well, you might as well get a little hand puppet and start saying, let's bite. You see? See how soon as I start making my hand to a hand puppet, Mike? Oh. I think, you know, they're saying these keys emanating from your hands. If your hands don't look like they're going to do anything, that's indicative of the rest of your body. Oh. Ah. Okay, but, you know, if you said, well, it's starting to bite on stuff. Okay, well, get its little toy tray. Get his toy tray out quick. Get his toy tray. Oh, <laughs> you little peanut. He sat where I sat. What was that one training, Mike? Remember what was it called? Do as I do. It, it was, it's on the right thread. It, it really mm. is, but. If you said, what do you see when I see that? People that have never been to exposed to competitive dog sports based on their actions. They don't understand enough about drive. They don't. Or they wouldn't be climbing up on the platform and doing all that weird stuff that they were doing. They would say, well, we could just simulate this by racing over there or something or whatever. I don't know. I don't know how I learned to do anything. I don't know how I know how to do anything. I don't. I sit there and think to myself, how do I know this stuff? In this detail, that I can think of it in this, and I, I don't know. I don't remember any of this stuff. If you don't video stuff, you're not going to remember it either. I don't remember any of this stuff. Do you think I'm going to sit there and say, oh, I can do a faster recall than this Larry? My dogs just spin on a dime. And that's going to be believable without video footage. So. Sure, this guy can fool people, but that's not what I'm about. You see how the noise brought him back. <laughs> it's beyond cute. You're keeping the dialogue going. You know, that's why I can keep the level of engagement. Oh, it's just such a great conversation that we're having. 
you know, some of these, the other day, that video was an hour long. If you told, if somebody said to me, oh, I'm going to work with it for an hour, I'd say, oh, oh, you know. If you're doing the wrong things, that's going to honestly, the wrong methodology can be, is, is just exhausted within 60 seconds. It's true. If you start doing it wrong, if you said, okay, that doesn't sound right, give me another example. Baking a cake. If you're doing, if you're mixing it up wrong, it's gone wrong immediately. If you said, how do you know? I, me and my sister. Oh, are you there, sissy? Remember, we used to bake those cakes all the time. I still remember that time. Somebody talked about how they used to have carpet in the kitchen. And I said, I know. I remember one time, my sister dropped a whole bowl of cake batter on the carpet. If you said that was you. <laughs> See how I've twisted the story? If there was an actual video, and I would remember. <laughs> it was me that dropped the cake batter on this carpet that we had in the kitchen. Mm. It was kind of like, though, I mean, it was like that, kind of like, not indoor out. It wasn't really carpet, though. It was whatever it was. It was like rumpus room, flooring carpet or something. I don't remember. I'll ask mom, are there any old pictures of that kitchen floor? Who would put carpet in a kitchen? I'm starting a petition to have whoever invented carpet posthumously prosecuted. Yeah, yeah, go back in time. The first ever case of prosecuting a human that's dead for inventing carpet. If you said, but it's put all these carpet cleaners in business. True. So you see what happened? There was he started to go away again. So then you're just back to your. If you're not bold, if the handle handler can't ever exit, you're gonna get in trouble. If the handler never exit, oh hi Lauren. I get him. Yeah, what you need to do, Lauren, and this is this is what you're gonna have to do because I see already your plan failing. What you need. I think you could have it in the daycare area. Just a little fence. They have it at PetSmart. They have like a little training corral. Haven't you ever seen that? Just in the middle of the store, like this little training corral thing or something or whatever they call it. The hoop and toop and training corral. And you, just to get individuals in there so that you're not getting all this interference. And I'm the queen of knowing about these other dogs. And I've got a ton of videos where they're running interference. But at some point, you do, if you're trying to create a dialogue with the dog, you don't want these other idiots interfering. Look at Sonar. She's outside the door peeking in. All right, so it's... He's only got, he's, he's got the behavior of jumping up, trying to get the attention. All dogs do. All dogs do. Right, let's see if I can get him back to the platform. So I'm not looking at him at all. I'm doing that. I just sort of tumble the food into his mouth and then I leave. My work here is done. And I do, I expect him to get up there. You little Mr. Bubble Butt. <laughs> oh, you little Mr. Bubble Butt. You see, this is what you need to be doing with that puppy, Lauren. You'll be able to get it picking something up, but get what you need is a climb, Junior. Your dad will be able to whip one of these up in a matter of seconds. It should be a scale model, but half the size. It's true. It should be half the size. It should be for small dogs. They should make it. All they got to do is miniaturize the mold and sell the thing for cheaper. People are going to buy it. I'm decidedly sort of leaning away, too. You see him looking at my feet. He's trying to figure out what are the feet saying. I mean, he's already, if you said, how hard is it going to be get this puppy going on a platform? Not very hard. <laughs> Not very hard. You know, he's nobody, you're not going to be able to get it off of there if you said it'd be more effective to keep pulling it up there and saying, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Don't leave. It'd be more effective to say, whatever you do, don't get on the table. <laughs> whatever you do, don't get on the table. 
And I think that's why you want to make it 12 inches high. That's really honestly there. And he's going to actually fall asleep up there. You're never going to get this dog to not want to go on a platform after. You're just not. It's early success is powerful in animals. That's how they're designed to live. He who has early success survives. It's Darwinism. So if you're successful with something, stick with it. If something works, stick with it. Not, eh, sure that works, but let's try nine other things. <laughs> That's not how their minds work. Why would it be? If something works, stick with it. Anyway, let me do the nighty night from here. That's all you need though, Lauren. All you need is a small corral this size to keep the other ones out with a platform in the middle. And you're starting all of them out seated. You're, you're, all, you're always seated in the beginning. You're seated because you're making yourself itty teeny tiny. And you're making the task very tiny. If you said all that dog did was lift it one inch. Exactly, exactly. If you said, how did it start out? It was lift, lift, lifting it one sixteenth of an inch. And it's your technique. And the faster you can get your hands back without, and then you get people trying to go too fast. Now they're, they're just, you saw the movement attracted him back over. But if you said, if I did that too close to their face, if you said why, because that's how other dogs deal with them. I got that one here. Yeah, snapping. Whoops. So I better be careful. <laughs> I was going to say, he's starting to kind of glance that way. You little peanut. Anyway, I've got these Christmas costumes. I could not, I so help me God, find them. I said, I know. I put them, remember the ones with the little arms sticking out and stuff? I couldn't find them. Before Christmas, I couldn't find them. I knew I put them somewhere. Anyway, I found them. I put them in that basket. I put them in this basket. So what I'm going to do is shoot the Christmas videos with him later today if I can, or tonight, or before, whenever Elaine gets here, and use them for next year. Yeah. Why wait? Why wait until right before Christmas to write or try to crank out some videos? Here's a better idea. Anyway, so now he goes to his little bed, but he's very open to the suggestion of coming back over. It's, if you said you're structuring everything that the dog is doing, albeit it believes it's doing what it wants to do. Yeah, that's the key. It believes, and the reason you don't want a big line, oh, all through the Adam Spivey, okay! You're operating under the assumption the dog is in its own free will the 